Hello, third grade. Hope you're all doing well. Hopefully you're liking the choice boards. Um, I've tried to make them so that they're geared for the kind of things that I knew you guys enjoyed. So I hope you're liking those choice boards. And I hope you're getting uh, some time outside as much as you can because it is so good to get that fresh air and go for a walk with your family or, or something like that. Go exploring. Um, so I'm here for the animal of the day and today's animal of the day and I particularly knew of um, some students that would be really happy about this animal of the day and it is the tiger shark. So there's the animal of the day. So let's look at the map. Um, here is the shaded area. Here's the United States. Um, here is South America. Um, this here's Australia over here, the shaded area, uh, pretty much the middle part of the globe has these sharks. So, um, that's where you would find the tiger sharks. Um, that is where you would see them. So they can be up to 18 feet in length. Okay. Um, they can weigh up to 1800 pounds. That's 1,800 pounds. Can you imagine what a huge animal? Um, they eat fish, sea turtles, and other marine life. They are in the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. So kind of everywhere, basically. Um, so let's read the facts that are on the back of this card. So the tiger is one of the ocean's most fearsome and fearless sharks. It will attack poisonous stingrays and fight with crocodiles. It will snatch seagulls paddling on the water surface and make a meal of a large sea lion. To satisfy, satisfy its to satisfy its appetite, the tiger shark also eats sea turtles, crabs, porpoises, and other sharks and many other fish. Add to this amazing smorgasbord such oddities as leather wallets, copper wire, and cans of salmon, all of which have been found in the bellies of tiger sharks. This shark is a scavenger. So a scavenger means kind of they will eat about anything that is left behind. The sad part is um, I'm sure that wallets and copper wire and cans of salmon are probably not the best for this tiger shark's diet. And that's kind of sad that these things end up in the ocean every day and that the tiger shark eats them because I can imagine that it's very harmful for their bodies. So just like we're not supposed to eat metals and things like that. So that's kind of sad, but um, the best we can do is practice habits of not littering and things like that and hope that those things don't make it into the ocean. So during the day, tiger sharks usually remain offshore in warm, deep ocean waters. At night, six or so sharks gather in a pack and enter the shallow coastal waters to hunt. They're, they are human eaters and feared throughout the world. So I don't really believe in that statement. I don't believe that they're human eaters. Um, use your own judgment, but I think that any attack on a human that a shark has ever done has been that that shark has mistaken that human for a fish. I don't think a shark, even the tiger shark, would specifically try to get a human and attack it to eat it. So um, I'd like an update on this card. <laughs> but anyway, um, it says tiger sharks are hunted for their meat, which is eaten as steak for their fins, which are used in soup for their skin, which is made into leather, and for their teeth, which are strung into necklaces. Shark liver oil is a source of vitamin A in pills and ointments. It is an ingredient in many lipsticks. Young tiger sharks hatch from eggs while still inside their mother. The female gives birth to as many as 80 live pups, each about two feet long. The markings of the young tiger sharks give the species its name. They are born with black spots that change to stripes and then fade with age. So there you have it. There is today's animal of the day. It's a tiger shark. So we'll have one more fish tomorrow and then we'll switch to a different type of animal. So that's kind of the route we've been taking with these animal of the day. I hope you're enjoying these videos and thank you for watching those of you that watch and thank you for joining the Zoom meeting uh, on Monday. I will send you the invite today or tomorrow for our new Zoom meeting that will be on Monday at noon, which is our normal time. 
and hope to see you all then. And those of you who do join the Zoom meeting on Monday, you will get five JoJo points for joining our Zoom meetings from now on. So if you join our meeting, five JoJo. Yeah, that sounds great, right? All right. Have a good day. Miss you. Bye.